हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड मोर ऑन पावर पॉइंट ऑन सिक्सटीन सो वॉज द वीडियो वेरी केयरफुल इन दिस वीडियो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द वीडियो ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर पॉइंट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन A presentation is a collection of slides arranged in a sequential manner to convey new ideas and impart information effectively. A slide is like a page in a presentation containing brief information that you want to communicate to your audience. In the previous class you have learnt many features that enhance the look of a presentation. In this lesson you will learn some new features of PowerPoint 2016 that make your presentation more interesting. You will also know about various views in which you can create and organize your presentation. Let's learn how to create a photo album. The photo album is a feature that allows you to club your personal and business photographs together to use for a presentation. It does not provide a way to insert online pictures directly, so you should download pictures from your online storage and put them in a folder on your hard drive. This way you can access all the images you want to include. Go to Insert tab under the Images group. Select the New Photo Album option from the Photo Album drop-down menu. The Photo Album dialog box will appear. Choose the File or Disk tab to pick images from your computer under the Insert Picture from section. The Insert New Pictures dialog box will appear. Choose the location and select as many pictures you need to insert in the album. As you click on the files, the pictures will be added under the Pictures in Album box. The preview of the picture gets displayed in the Preview pane. You can rearrange pictures by clicking the up and down arrows below the Pictures in the Album box. Choose the Picture Layout and the Photo Frame Shape by clicking the drop-down arrows next to Picture Layout and Frame Shape in the Album Layout section. Once all the files have been added, click on the Create button. This creates a new photo album presentation. Students know that you can also create the photo album in PowerPoint 2013 by following the above mentioned steps. Let us learn about ink equations. This is a new feature using which you can add math equations into your presentation. Ink equation is easier to use if you have a touch enable device connected to your system. You can use your finger or a stylus to write equations directly on the screen and PowerPoint converts them into text. However, you can also use mouse to write the equations if you do not have a touch device. To add ink equations, select the insert tab from the symbols group, click on the drop down arrow of the equation button. Select the ink equation option from the displayed list. The math input control dialog box appears. Bring the mouse pointer on the light yellow colored grid area. A small black dot appears. It is a cursor from where you can start writing the equation. Now write the equation in the grid area. Once you are done, click on the insert button present at the bottom of the dialog box. Select the erase tool from the toolbar at the bottom if required. Students know that you can correct any part of the equation at any time by selecting the select and correct option from the math input control dialog box. Now let us learn about screen recording. Open a PowerPoint presentation. Select the slide in which you want to add the screen recording. Click on the insert tab and select the screen recording option from the media group. A small pop-up window appears at the top of the screen. Select the screen area that you want to record by clicking on the select area button and then dragging the mouse to highlight the desired screen region. You may record a specific area or the full screen. You can also turn on the audio option if you want to insert sound in your screen recording. Now click on the record button to start the recording. A countdown dialog box appears which indicates that the recording is going to start in a few seconds and displays the shortcut key combination that is Windows plus Shift plus Q to stop the recording. When you are done with the recording, bring the mouse pointer to the top of your computer screen to show the pop-up window again. Click on the stop button to save the recording. The recorded screen video will get inserted into the current slide. You can move, resize or rotate the video and can also add special effects to it by using the special video tools tab that appear on the ribbon. 
Let us learn how to change the office theme now. Office 2016 provides you with three new themes that can be applied on PowerPoint 2016. Colorful, dark gray and white. By default, a colorful theme is applied which shows the title bar, ribbon, background and other components in orange color. Selecting a new theme will change the color of these components. Click on the file tab and choose the options. The PowerPoint options dialog box will appear. By default, the general tab is selected. Click on the office theme drop down arrow on the right pane and select the dark gray option from the displayed list. Observe the change. Student, similarly likewise, you can change the background of other applications of Office 2016 such as Word, Excel, etc. Another fact to note is that to add any tool or menu on the quick access toolbar, right click on the tool or command and select the add to quick access toolbar option. The tool will be added on the quick access toolbar. Let me tell about comments now. Comments are a great way to provide feedback to others about their presentation. They can also be used to collaborate and work together on a presentation. They are more likely sticky notes that can be added to an object, text or to a whole slide. Comments in a slide can be turned on or off anytime. To add comments in a slide, place a cursor on the object or text where you want to add comment. Click on the review tab and select the new comment button in the comments group. A comment icon appears on the slide and the comments task pane opens. Type the comments and then click outside the comment box. Now close the comments task pane. In order to view the comment, either click on the comment icon on the slide or click on the show comments button in the comments group on the review tab. Students note the fact that to add comments in PowerPoint 2013, click on the review tab and follow the same steps as you do in PowerPoint 2016. Okay, let us talk about smart lookup now. Smart Lookup is a new feature in Office 2016. This feature allows you to find the information for the selected word or phrase on the web using the search engine Bing. It does not force you to open up the web browser every time you need a quick word definition. To make use of this feature, select the word or phrase which is to be searched. Click on the Review tab and select the Smart Lookup option from the Insights group. Or right click on the selected word or phrase and select the smart lookup option from the shortcut menu. The smart lookup task pane will appear on the right side of the slide with results from various online resources. It also contains two tabs, explore and define. The explore tab previews the information associated with the selected text from different online resources. The define tab contains the definition and pronunciation for the selected text. Let me give you a tip. You can also open the Smart Lookup window by typing the word to be searched in Tell Me text box and select the Smart Lookup option from the drop down list. Okay, let me tell you about ink annotation now. Office 2016 provides you with another amazing feature that enables you to ennote with ink to write notes, create shapes, highlight a key concept and much more. You can also convert the hand-drawn shapes to inform geometric shapes by selecting them and then selecting convert to shapes. Let us learn how to handwrite the text. To write notes in your own handwriting, follow the given steps. Select the review tab and click on the start inking option from the ink group. This will display the pen tab with various ink tools. By default, the pen option is selected in the right group. Choose a colored pen from the pens group. Click on more drop down arrow to view more options for your selection. To change the ink color or thickness of the pen, click on the color and thickness options under the pens group. After selecting the ink options, you can write your notes with the help of a stylus, light pen or a mouse. Let us learn how to highlight the text. Follow the given steps to highlight the text in your presentation. Select the highlighter tool in the right group on the pens tab. Choose a highlighter from the various options under the pens group. Drag your pen or stylus over the text that you want to highlight. 
Let us learn how to draw in your presentation. To draw an object or a shape in your presentation, from the pens tab, select the pen tool in the right group. Choose a pen from the pens group with appropriate color and thickness and draw an object or a shape. To convert your ink drawn shape into common geometric shapes, select the option convert to shapes in the ink art group on the pens tab. Draw a shape and you will observe that it is automatically converted to a similar geometric shape. Convert to shapes is a toggle button. Students know that PowerPoint can convert only the drawings that look similar to common shapes. If it is not near to the geometric shapes, drawing remains unaffected. Let us learn how to delete annotations. Select the eraser tool in the right group on the pen tab. Click on the required eraser type by clicking on the drop down arrow of the eraser option. Move the eraser over the text or drawing that you want to erase. Ok, let us learn how to select objects. The lasso select tool on the pen tab allows you to select an object drawn by a pen tool. To select the object, Choose the lasso select tool in the right group. The pointer changes into plus symbol. Drag the mouse to encircle the path that you want to select. A faded selection region appears around the object. While delivering your presentation to the audience, you may need to emphasize a word or phrase or make some explanatory notes on the slides. Slideshow view provides you with various options to annotate your presentation. To add ink annotations during the slideshow, right click on the slide where you want the annotation pen to appear. Select the pointer options from the context menu. Now select the pen or highlighter option as desired. Change the color by selecting the ink color option and choosing the desired color from the palette. Use pen or highlighter either to write or emphasize text. Similarly, you can use laser pointer feature to highlight the key points on the slide. Unlike the pen and highlighter, the laser pointer will not leave any marks on the slide. Students, let us talk how to view a presentation. You can view your presentation in different formats such as normal view, slide sort of view and slideshow view depending on the task at hand. Most of the view buttons are available in the presentation views group on the view tab. By default, a user works in normal view. Let me tell you about normal view first. It is the main editing view which is used to write and design the slides for the presentation. In normal view, you can add text, graphics, sound, animation and other effects to your slides. It has three parts. You can have a large view of an individual slide in slide pane, notes in notes pane at the bottom and slides displayed as thumbnails. In slide navigation pane, all at the same time. Click the thumbnail of a slide to view it in the slides pane. To open this view, select the view tab and click on the normal button from the presentation views group. Or click on the normal view button located at the bottom of the slide window. Let us talk about outline view. The outline view displays only the text on your slides in the outline pane. This view allows you to quickly edit the text on the slides and view the contents of all the slides at once. Use outline view to create an outline or storyboard for your presentation. You can get to outline view from the view tab on the ribbon. It displays the slide text in the outline pane. Note the fact, in PowerPoint 2013 and later, you can no longer get to outline view from the normal view. You will need to get it from the view tab. Let me talk about slide sorter view now. It displays a miniature view of all the slides of a presentation in horizontally sequenced thumbnails. Slide sorter view is helpful if you need to change the order of slides, insert or delete the slides, add transitions and set the timings for the slide show. Select the view tab and click on the slide sorter button from the presentation view scroll. All the slides of your presentation will be displayed in thumbnails with a thick border around the selected slide. Let's learn about notes page view. You can show or hide your notes with the notes button at the bottom of the slide window or you can get to notes page view from the view tab on the ribbon. Clicking on the notes button will open a notes box at the bottom of the slide. 
You can print your notes or include the notes in a presentation that you send to the audience or just use them as indications for yourself while showing the presentation. Let me tell you about reading view. Using this view, you can view the presentation as a slideshow that fits within a window. It contains some buttons at the bottom right corner that allows you to navigate through your presentation and switch to other views. In this view, taskbar is also visible. To enter into the reading view, either click on the reading view button on the view tab or select the reading view button at the bottom of the slide window. Let us talk about slideshow view. The slideshow view is used when you deliver your presentation to audience. It is just like the pictures in a photo album. It displays all the slides in the presentation one by one on the full screen. You can select the slideshow view button at the bottom of the slide window or select the slideshow tab. It displays commands that help you with various choices to run the presentation. You can use any one of the following options to run the slideshow. From beginning, start the slideshow from the first slide. From current slide, start the slideshow from the current slide. Present online, this feature broadcasts the slideshow to remote viewers who can watch it through web browser. Custom slideshow, it displays only the slides you select. You can also use F5 key to view the slideshow. Students know the fact that the present online feature requires a network service to host the slideshow. You can send the link URL of your presentation to your audience by an email. Let us learn how to rearrange slides now. You can rearrange the slides of a presentation in normal, outline and slide sorter view. Let me first tell you about in normal view. Open the presentation in normal view. In the slides navigation pane, select the thumbnail of the slide and drag it to its desired position. Now let me tell you about in slide sorter view. Open the presentation in slide sorter view. Select the thumbnail of the slide to be moved and drag it to its desired location. Let me give some important tips. To move to the next slide in the slideshow view, either click the mouse button or use the enter or space bar key. To quit the slideshow, press the escape key on the keyboard. In an outline view, open the presentation in outline view. Select the thumbnail from the outline pane and drag it to the desired location. A horizontal line appears as you drag the slide. Let's learn how to work with slide outline view. The outline view is quite similar to normal view except that it provides a summary of each slide in the outline pane. You can do the following tasks in the outline view. Create presentation structures edit text entries and rearrange the text on slides as needed. Hide or display text levels. Let us try the following activity which demonstrates the use of outline view. Create a new presentation. Select the outline view from the presentation views group on the view tab. In the outline pane type special days for special people next to the slide icon. Now press the enter key. As you press the enter key, a new slide appears. Type Mother's Day and press the enter key. A new slide appears. Right click at the cursor position and click on the demote option. You will observe that the slide icon disappears and the text moves to one level lower. Type the text as shown in the figure and press enter. Now right click again and choose the promote option from the context menu. A new slide appears. Repeat the above two steps to enter information related to Father's Day, Brother's Day, Sister's Day and Friendship's Day. Bring the mouse pointer right next to the slide icon. Right click at cursor position and select collapse option from the shortcut menu. It will hide the bulleted text relevant to the selected slide and displays only the slide title whereas collapse all hides the bulleted text for the outline of the entire presentation. Now right click option and select the expand option from the context menu. 
it will reveal the bulleted text relevant to the selected slide. Whereas expand all reveals the bulleted text for the outline of the entire presentation. Okay students, let us take a recap. Thank you dear students for watching that video.